Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video we are going to be making a fully automatic airsoft gun. Here is the first prototype I have over here. This one is fully functioning and this is the one I will be using for the shooting test at the end of the video. But, I made it off of camera so I'm going to be making a very similar one using the supplies shown here. But be sure to stick around to the end of the video for the automatic airsoft gun shooting test. Alright, let's get started. So what you'll need for this project is a little hobby motor with a gear on the end. Doesn't really matter how big the gear is, you'll see why it matters a little bit later when we start assembling. But there does have to be a gear on the end with little ridges, but it can't be a huge one and shouldn't be much smaller than the one you see here. The other electronics you'll need is a little switch of your choice, could be a push button. I have a selector switch, just like that. You'll need a 9 volt battery or other battery source for your motor. Your hopper, as you can see here, I'm using these old Kinder Egg Surprise containers. You'll need a little PVC T, an old pen barrel, just like this one here from my school, a lighter. Exacto knife and a hot glue gun for construction. Now the only piece I don't have two of is this guy on the end. This here, if you don't know what it is, is actually the back half of an old camera thing. So you can take selfies back in the day. You squeeze the ball and it pushes a stick so you can take a picture. And then of course they invented iPhones and it ruined it all. So this piece is kind of obsolete. So I'm just using the back half of it to create some air but a rubber ball with a hole in it would do the exact same thing or whatever you can find that does something like that. So to start construction we're going to start with the barrel which is probably the toughest part. As you can see over here this is the final result we're going for. Basically what you have to do is cut a little slot in the side of your old pen tubing and stick the motor in almost flush but sticking in a very little bit let me see if I can show you guys down the barrel no nope, it's a little too dark but basically this sits just past the edge of the barrel so whatever goes in the barrel will get hit by this but this won't clog the barrel very fine art but to do this we're gonna take the knife and lighter I found this is the best method and all you do is you hold the lighter under the exacto knife. If you're not comfortable doing this, you can uh, you can try using a little saw or even a drill, anything you can. And then, on one end of the piece of tubing, make a little incision, and then about um, a centimeter over, maybe about a quarter inch if you work in those units make another slot so now we have two slots and then with just the tip of your exact knife should be fine push beside the slots on both sides and with a bit of work be very careful to keep your fingers away of course with a bit of work you should be able to now peel that slot back and have a little opening oh that's not quite cut through There you go. Now we have an opening on the side of the pen barrel and when mounted the gears should be just like that. As you can see if you put it right up against it it will probably block the barrel but if you mount it over here the gears aren't even coming in contact with the barrel. And let me see if I can get a good side shot for you. There you can see my motor inside. So something about there where you can just see the teeth should be perfect. As you can see, I properly mounted the tube right beside the gear with proper spacing and I also spaced it up using a quite a big gob of hot glue so that the hole is actually lined with the gears, not below or above it. So the next step here is to make sure your motor is spinning the correct way. I'm going to be feeding my BBs in from this end here, the short end, and then they will be going down the barrel this way. So as you can imagine, that means that the gear has to spin counterclockwise if looking at it from above 
Now basically strip the end of the wires on your motor. I'm going to go ahead and set them down right about there. Then zoom in so you can see. And then you're going to take each end and connect it to different terminals. So let's try blue on the left terminal and yellow on the right. I think we got it first try. So when assembling the actual gun, the positioning of all the components is 100% up to you. And here I have all of the parts laid out. I'm not going to go ahead and assemble them because I already have an assembled model right here. But just so you can visualize it, this again is the assembled model. So if you take it, take apart all the pieces in an exploded view, basically what you have is the motor barrel assembly is kind of the main component of the gun. Then I like to use the battery as the handle. So you can go ahead and use some hot glue in those two corners, attach him on there. Then I have a little selector switch as I mentioned earlier, but you could use a button switch just as easily. But I'm going to go ahead and glue my selector switch right about there. Then using a T piece, this one is a little bit too big. You want the inner diameter to be about the same size as your pen barrel which is what you see right here, it's a nice tight squeeze and if you're looking from the back there's not much of a ridge for it to get lost whereas this one obviously way too big the BBs could get stuck or jammed. Then next for the magazine I'm going to be using these Kinder Egg Surprise containers so just cut a rough hole like I did there with a knife then slide it on the top of your tube, that hole, that hole is not big enough but you get the idea then seal it with some hot glue for the magazine and then lastly for your air supply again I have this little balloon ball thing and you have to ensure a tight seal which works really well with this T-piece little brass fitting, push it in the back and you got your air supply and for anyone who's not super good in electrical, I'll show you basically the simple circuit I made. So basically you have your power source coming from the battery. And then this black wire off the battery goes straight into the motor. Then from the motor, the other wire goes out into the switch. And then from the middle of the switch, you can use either, either the outside ones coming from the motor. So I have motor going to the right pole on the switch. So that one right there. Then the middle pole on the switch goes down into the other end of the battery. Basically, then once you push the switch, it completes the circuit and starts your gun. Let's get to the shooting test. Alright, so a quick little disclaimer before the shooting test. This is still a prototype and the velocity and power really does depend on your motor and the motor alignment because you want the um, depth of the gear to be perfect or else it'll either jam them, slowing them down, or won't hit it properly which also slows it down. Sometimes I get the bullets going really fast, but other times they literally just fall out the barrel. So it is a work in progress, so keep that in mind um, before you smash that dislike button. So uh, first we're going to go ahead and load it up. So I got my BBs here, and all you got to do take a nice big old handful of them all right and then just go ahead and dump them in the yellow container just like that go ahead and add some more as you can see now the hopper is pretty darn full then go ahead and close it and now let's get to the shooting test Alright, so, basically to fire the gun, what you want to do is turn on the switch. Sometimes you have to shake it a little bit to get the BBs to go through the fitting behind the barrel. Then the air, like I said earlier, is to help the BBs get pushed through the motor, which is where the motor speeds up the velocity, hopefully, and hits the paper. So, without further ado, let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Hopefully it's not too bad. And here we go. I'll get a side I'll get a little bit of a side view for you guys. Not 
Alright, so as you can see, the motor adjustment's not perfect right now. They're kind of just making it like three feet. But uh, so sometimes they do go pretty good. I'll show you again from behind here. They got him. <laughs> All right, turn it off. So obviously the accuracy and power is kind of non-existent right now. I have to play around with the size of the gear and how close it is to the tube. So still have to work on that. But overall, if you like the concept and idea, please hit the like button before you, you hate on it. And I'd like to just quickly show you how many BBs it outputted. So there's my carpet that I have to clean up a little. Oh, clean up a little bit now. And there's the aftermath. And there's a whole bunch over there towards the bedroom. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's the invention. Um, if you like the idea, please let me know. If you have any ideas of how to improve the velocity, let me know as well. But as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more awesome videos. Thanks for watching.